Hi everyone. This video is for those of you who ask that I show you how I make my own stencil fonts. It's super easy to do, so keep watching. A font into a stencil font is actually quite easy. I'm going to go to text. I'm just going to use Cricut Sans because that's the one that pops up. And I'm going to type happy birthday. Okay, we'll bring that up so you can see it more easily. So when you see this font, if you were to cut it out when you need a stencil, you would lose the inside of these circles in the P, in the A, the bottom of the A, in the D, even in the B, you would lose those parts and just end up with big open spaces. So there's a way for us to turn this into a stencil font so that you can use it on your joy cards or other places that you use stencil fonts. So let's go to shapes and get a square. I'm going to unlock it because I want to turn it into a skinny rectangle. And I'm going to just line it up on my B. Sorry, I should have ungrouped these first. I'm going to line it up on my B. Select this all together. Right click and slice. And we'll just take away this part that we don't need. This is the gap that you need in a stencil font. So we'll take that away. We'll just repeat like that anywhere that we have a circle cut out that will end up being a hole if we cut it out. So we'll make another narrow rectangle, place it here. Select these two together, right click and slice. And then we'll just take away the cutout that we don't need. There we go delete that and I have a second piece so I'm just going to delete it and duplicate this one and place it here and if you notice the D is exactly like the P but upside down so I'm going to remove that and duplicate I'm going to flip it vertically and then flip it horizontally and I have my D ready to go There we go. Now we just need to deal with the A. So I'm going to get another shape, another rectangle. I'm going to make it nice and skinny. And it's a little harder to do the A because you need to get in between there. But you can do it. There, finally. Select those together, right click and slice, and we'll take away the excess. And there's our A. Oops, and delete. And then I'm going to duplicate this one, delete this A, and move this over. And there we go. So now we're able to use this as a stencil font. So I'm going to take this birthday, group it. I'll group it so I can center this up. Group them. Select both together, align, center horizontally. And there we have it. Now I'm going to weld it so that I can slice it all in one measure out of my, ba my background. So here we go, just so you can see how it looks. White, center the back. I can take both together, right click and slice. And I'll take away my excess. And let's put a background behind this so that you can see how it looks. And there you go. So you can see that you have this 
solid pieces are connected so you still have you have that stenciled look and that's what I do to make fonts um, to use on my joy cards so you can do this with pretty much any font unless it's like a super fancy letter that you're not able to slice into properly but I haven't run into that yet so that's how easy it is to do it and um, I hope you'll enjoy this video and I hope you'll make some of your own stencil fonts. Thank you for watching.